you know, when you, when, when you, when you figure out this is what you want to do, or, or you have an inclination that this is what you want to do, let your passion fuel it. And to the point where ignore the naysayers. You know, like I said, the way this city is built is really rooted in reality. And this is somewhat of considered a dream until it's done. You know, like I said, I've, I started filmmaking in 94. I did my first short in 94. That was 25 years ago. It's been a very long road. And things don't happen overnight. But you have to stay diligent and consistent with your pursuit. And you got to protect your passion as well. You got to protect your passion. You got to protect, you know, your protect your passion, protect your vision, and, you know, prepare yourself for sacrifice and enjoy the process. That would be the biggest thing I'd tell somebody. And surround yourself with like-minded individuals because the worst thing you can do is surround yourself with somebody that is a naysayer or a detractor or that becomes an obstacle to you. You know, it's really easy to find yourself in a group because it's always strength in numbers. But if that group isn't moving in the right path, sometimes you got to branch out on your own. So if you find people that are just as motivated or somebody, if you find someone around somebody that's always making you say, man, I got to step my shit up. Cause that's why I was. I looked up. I was around Phil and Kenny, and I, every day I was like, "Okay, I, I gotta step my shit up. I gotta come correct because these cats coming correct every day. We didn't take days off. Nobody's ever live balling. Nobody's like, well, I'm just gonna mail it in.' Now everybody's going. We we went 110 every day. All of us went 110 equally, which is why we were able to maneuver and get a film done in '99 for fifty thousand dollars on 35 millimeter. You know. Speaking of, do you still work with them? Mm -mm. I mean, we support each other in different ways, but they, they have their own thing and I have my own thing. You know? And it, that, that comes with growth, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, you know, like and, it, and that's the thing. It's like, it, so our foundation was a brotherhood that was there even before the filmmaking. So even when the filmmaking went in different directions, we still had a brotherhood of support and love for each other where we all would help each other out because you know, there's no time and space for hating, which is cool because one, we all grown, none of us are petty. None of us all know, well, I could be the man, but you can't be the man. Like, we want all of us to win. And that's the thing, you know, and that's another thing that, that I've run into, especially in Chicago, man. It's a hater mentality sometimes where people feel like they're going to be one person that's doing it. Especially, you don't find that in L.A.? Not like I do here. Mm. No, not like I do here. I mean, because in L.A., everybody on the grind. Uh, it exists, of course. There's a, it's a competitive field there, which I understand because it's a, it's – there's certain slots, and if you hear, that means somebody else wasn't there. So I, I get that. But here, where we all grinding, and people are like, well, I, I gotta be the man. Like, okay, what are you the man of? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's enough out here for us all to grind together. We can all build. Yeah. So you have that mentality. There can only be one, which I really see pervasive in on in Chicago. It's a distract. It's a, it's a it, it detracts from the ultimate goal of you know achieving your you know. Having a career. Yeah, because it's all team-oriented. It's all team-oriented, yeah. So surround yourself with like-minded individuals that, you know, want, want to win as well as want you to win.